Today, I'm gonna show you how to add a XYZ layer in QJS 3. Let's open QGIS and start. As you can see in my QGIS, in the browser panel, I have a lot of XYZ tiles layers. These layers are really nice to create a good base map. Let's add, for instance, Google Satellite or OpenStreetMap. And as you can see, once I double click, the 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 element under the xyz ties in the browser i get a new layer that i can switch on switch off and can operate on this layer in many ways so how can i get this the first thing to do is to go into the browser window if you don't have a browser like you uh, clicked the x the X button and it, it disappeared, you will find it again. You can show it again using the menu toolbar view under the, the voice view and you will get it under the panels sub menu. Click the browser, you will get it again. Perfect. So now let's right click on the XYZ ties and create new connection a dialog will pop up xyz connection uh, name okay let's add for instance openstreetmap osm what can we put in the url oh in this case the url to use is th this one http tile.openstreetmap.org zxy.png Let's cut and paste, and that's it. You actually don't need the configuration. This is mm, for more advanced cases, and also basic may be left empty. One thing I suggest you to do is to set the minimum zoom level and the maximum zoom level, in this case to eight, and we may, maybe we can bring it to 20. Let's click OK. Nothing happened here because it just added it to the, the browser. Let's remove the one I had add, I have added and now double click the OSM we have just added. As you can see it works perfectly. I have other layers here so um, maybe I can remove them and that's it but how how can you know what to put into the URL field of the, this dialog the various services that are available online could have a documentation page where this is specified but in our case, we have done a little script. Let's take a look. It's published on my GIST. So in the description, you will find the URL and it's a Python script. What to do with this Python script? How do I execute this script? The script may be executed using the Python console. So in order to open the Python console, you need to go under the menu plugins and click Python console. It usually, it is usually docked. In my case, I had previously clicked the, the undock button and the thing you need to do is to click show editor the button the, the third button here the little one with the paper and a little pencil and um, this is an old one so just click 
the the plus button and you will get a new tab where to paste cut and paste this script everything is okay now let's click run script you will see exact path and as you can see not a lot is changed because i had already this ones but you can find it added a new one that i i didn't have before the mappy cz tourist map which is really nice okay let's take a look to the python if you are not practice with python leave me a comment so i can so add a comment where you say how to learn python or if you want some suggestions okay this this script is quite easy is it actually create uh, an array where i append a lot of data and each data appended is made by a layer where we have the name the url and the max zoom and the mean zoom after then i cycle on xyz layers and i unbox the the single array and then i put in the q settings which is the global settings of qjs a new element under the qjs connections yv and uh, this uh, element needs a few parameters url zmax zmin outconfig username password and the refer the last fourth are not populated so it's perfectly okay every every url here is open to use so there is no need to an authorization to have an authorization so never mind if maybe if you have one with an authorization that added traditionally so no, there is no problem once you execute this you will find everything we have added here into the browser window it's quite easy to do so if you have a problem just leave me a comment and i'll write you that's all for today thank you for listening but first subscribe to never miss any other video